This 30 minute creamy Tuscan chicken recipe is so easy and totally resistible. You will love the restaurant quality creamy sauce with all the vibrant colors and the best Italian inspired flavors. Begin by doing some prep work. I love preparing my ingredients first and once they're done, cooking takes minutes. Take two shallots and chop them very thinly. Shallots add incredible flavor and once chopped thinly, they'll disappear into the sauce, so don't skip them. Transfer to a plate and set it aside. Use two to three garlic cloves. And the easiest way I find peeling garlic cloves is to place the clove on your cutting board. Place the flat part of a white knife over it, pressing down with firm but gentle pressure. You should hear the noise of the skin crunching. The garlic skin should be easy to peel and remove. Chop your garlic cloves very thinly and set it aside. Wipe your surface clean with a paper towel and proceed with thickly slicing 8 ounces of mushrooms. Make sure you pre-wash your mushrooms by rinsing them quickly under cold water. Dry them immediately with a paper towel so they don't soak too much water. When done, set them aside. Use two cups of cherry tomatoes and slice them lengthwise. Transfer them to a bowl and set them aside. Now to the star ingredient, the sun-dried tomatoes. They have a deep and bold flavor that just make this dish pop. I prefer using the sun-dried tomatoes packed in oil because they're softer and I also use the oil in the cooking process. You'll need roughly a third cup. In a shallow bowl, add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Mix to combine. We will need four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Pat them dry with a paper towel and dredge them in the prepared flour mixture, coating them all over. Shake them down to remove any excess flour. Heat a Dutch pan or a large skillet over medium-high heat and add 2 tablespoons of the sun-dried tomatoes oil to start building those amazing Tuscan flavors. Add two more tablespoons of olive oil. And once you notice your oils start dancing in your pan, add the chicken breasts one by one. Keep the heat at medium and cover your pan tightly with a lid and cook it undisturbed for four minutes. Then carefully remove the lid and flip the chicken on the other side and cook for another 4 minutes with the lid on. The chicken will be browned and cooked through. When done, transfer them to a plate and cover them with foil. Let the chicken rest while you're preparing the mouth-watering sauce. In the same pan, melt 2 tablespoons of butter. Then add your mushrooms. Arrange them roughly in one layer and cook undisturbed for two to three minutes. Then mix for another two minutes until golden brown. Transfer your mushrooms to a bowl. I prefer to add them towards the end, otherwise they completely disintegrate during the entire cooking process. Saute your chopped shallots for one minute, stirring frequently, then add your garlic and cook for another 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Add your sliced cherry tomatoes and cook for a minute or two, stirring frequently not to burn the shallots or the garlic. Now deglaze the pan with one and a half cup of white dry wine. Mix it and simmer for five minutes or until it's reduced by half. Add your sun-dried tomatoes, followed by one and a half cups of cream. This is a good time to season your sauce. Add one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, and one teaspoon of dried oregano, or season to taste. Always taste your sauce and adjust the seasoning per your liking. At this point, transfer your cooked mushrooms and two cups of baby spinach that I've roughly chopped and removed the stems. A step that is totally optional. I just find it to be more kid-friendly. Mix it well until your spinach is wilted down. Now to my favorito ingredient, the Monsieur Parmigiano. <laughs> Grate some fresh Parmesan directly onto your sauce and measure with your heart. And I'm begging you, please don't use the shredded thing they sell at the store that looks like Parmesan cheese. Mix to marry all of your ingredients. Your sauce is ready. Nestle your chicken breasts and don't skip those chicken juices. They have a ton of flavors. Generously spoon some of that delightful sauce on top of your chicken. Keep it on medium-low heat for a few minutes and this divinely Tuscan chicken is ready to be enjoyed. Serve it over pasta, rice, use some crusty bread to dip into the creamy sauce. I love to serve it with fluffy mashed potatoes and here's a simple but restaurant-style presentation. Nestle your mashed potatoes on a plate and place one chicken breast on top covering it with two to three tablespoons of the delicious sauce. Sprinkle a little of the chopped fresh parsley and enjoy. Look at how juicy this chicken is. Oh my, this is beyond delicious. This creamy Tuscan chicken is a favorite in my home. It's a simple way to make a weeknight dinner feel really special. And that flavor combo is just so, so good. And of course, it's always best when it's homemade. Enjoy. See you next time.